Hey everyone, Matt here from Exploring Alternatives. Uh, today we're here with Simon and Shelby and they just moved out of their apartment and they will be living in this tiny home. So we're just going to ask them a few questions and take a look at their van. We just moved out of our apartment. We just got rid of an absolute mountain of stuff and we've managed to fit our lives, if only just, into a 21 foot long blue van. Yeah, when we moved into our bachelor apartments together, everyone was like, you can't live in a bachelor apartment with two people. You, like, there's no way. And so now it's just like, oh, you can't live in a van together. So it's just, we're just getting used to doing what people tell us we can't do over and over again. So this is our 1992 Dodge B350 camper van. So we have a big fresh water tank right here, enough to get us through about a week. Under here, we have a uh, decently sized propane tank. This is that's where the poop comes from. We have a gray water and black water tank under there. Got a little ladder up here. Here's our back access panel for our fridge. This is vents for the fridge and this is vent uh, for our stove. This is the water heater down here. And we have our canopy. She definitely rides like a heavy whale, for sure. The van trip plan for us is uh, a very loose idea of what we're gonna do for the next two years. Um, we're doing the West Coast first for six months, and then we're gonna do the uh, come back here to Ontario and work another season. While we're still traveling, we still wanna travel a lot in Ontario. Work a, work a wedding season. Yeah, yeah. Well, we work as photographers during the wedding season. And then we're gonna do the, uh, the East Coast. And then, I don't know, we'll figure it out. But uh, yeah. <laughs> so far, the plan doesn't really have any end to it, as, as it is for now. That's our 240-watt sharp uh, solar panel. Inside, we have a 1,000-watt pure sine wave inverter. The battery bank, we have a three batteries, totaling 420 amp hours of 12 volt. That paired up with a 20 amp MPPT solar charge controller and our 24, 240 watt um, panel. You basically just never really have to worry about power. It's been really, really nice. We just run power tools, we run our coffee maker, charge our laptops, and we just don't worry about it. So Simon will be working for Airbnb for yeah. most of our trip, um, and we can do that remotely. And then, I'm going to try to um, continue my own artistic career and meet up with different artists along the road, hopefully apply for some grants. And I've also been looking at writing jobs online, small writing jobs here and there. Making money on the road is definitely, um, definitely a huge plus and, and the fact that we're able to do that is really huge. Um, but we're not relying on it either because we've been saving and working towards this for a while. We're, we're setting ourselves up so that we have enough to do each leg of our trip before we ever set out to go do it. So if everything else fails, we can still do the trip. Our, I guess our first inspiration for doing the van life was I bought Simon a book from a store I was working at called Maddie on Things. And it was this guy who was traveling across the US, right? Yep. With his dog. I think he had like just broken up with his girlfriend and just got rid of everything. And quit his job. A, quit, a, quit his job, got a dog and traveled. Um, with her and then his, she would just stand on things and he'd take pictures of her like all across the US and it was the most adorable book ever. And then I think he saw that and he thought... We should do that. Yeah. Yeah, we should totally do that. It, it just one thing led to the other and I remember being like laying in bed one night and being like, we gotta do this, that's it. Like there's just too many people and they're having too much fun and I don't wanna miss out on this, so. So I know everyone tells us like his champ's so old that we can't do the trip with him, that yeah. we should be leaving him here and we're like, there's no way in hell that we are doing this trip without champ. Like this this trip is for champ. Yeah, I like people but I like champ more, so Yeah. Can't go. I can't and then everyone well. that we know that we follow that is doing like a van trip with a dog is like you absolutely have to do it with your dog. Like it's so much fun, it's so much better with a dog. It's, it's so he's exciting. gonna sniff everything and pee on everything and Every pretty, <laughs> Everything every across North America. Crap on all the pretty flowers. You know. <laughs> so we actually, we got this tip from you. So we bought this shoe hanger from Ikea and cut it in half and then the other half's gonna go on the other side. And then you can also hide stuff behind it because there's a little hole in the door there. So here's the bed. So it can p pull in during the day and then it just pulls out um, all the way to cure to become a double bed. 
And we just have a futon mattress up here right now, so we just fold it up when we uh, have the bed in during the day. Over here, we just have like dishes and food. So I'm really pumped about the coffee maker because he drinks coffee every day. We have two sinks, which is awesome. We bought this from Ikea too, and then we just cut it. Up here is all just food, more food down there right now. Our fridge, which we all, and we also have a little freezer. This is our closet. We have everything hung, and then I also have a bin of clothes at the bottom. Too much clothing. Microwave. This is our shower. Oh, nice. Yeah. And then toilet. And we just installed another one of these here to put toiletries in. This folds up, and then this goes down, and you the bed comes out to here, pretty much takes up all the space that you have here. And then they also, I really like this too, is you can sit here, but you still have a seatbelt on both sides, which is nice. So a lot of times when we're driving, I'll sit back here and like edit photos while uh, Simon's driving. So this one um, can only open like this much because it's right underneath the solar panel. So we open it a little bit just to like, get like a crosswind, but that one's uh, really awesome. So you can open it and then, the fan turns on automatically, starts going. We're, we're really excited about like a lot of the places we're gonna go. Um, I'm personally super excited about waking up, making coffee, and then walking out onto the beach somewhere and just having a, a mad chill day, just sit up my hammock, play fetch with a dog. Like, I wanna do that for about four months. That would be nice, yeah. I'm scared of like mechanical failures because if you watched our videos, we have had a lot of those. Um, with the same degree, it's a lot of the same stuff. It's like uh, those little misadventures that turn into amazing adventures. A lot of the best memories you make are the ones you never intended to in the first place. And We're excited for the just the open possibility of the venture because you can just go anywhere, anytime, just do anything.